At the age of 95, Prophet Abraham saw himself slaughtering his son in a dream. Interpreting the vision to mean that he needs to slaughter his son for the sake of God, he was to lay his son onto the sand and raise a knife to sacrifice him. Of course, Islam doesn't allow this act. The dream was only a way for God to test Prophet Abraham. But Prophet Abraham didn't know that this was only a test to see who he loved and devoted to the most, his lord or his son. Ishmael was his only progeny at the time. His son looked at his father and said, If God commanded you to do this, do as you were commanded, as I too am submissive to God. As Prophet Abraham raised his sword, Satan appeared in front of him and stated, That's your only son. What are you doing? How can you kill him? Prophet Abraham, recognizing Satan the cursed, started to pelt him with seven stones until he went away. After that, Abraham moved to another place, where Satan once again returned and was pelted again by Prophet Abraham. Then again, the action was repeated in another place. Satan always tries to separate people from their Lord. Eventually, when Abraham was poised to kill his own son, his son was replaced with a ram sent by God. Prophet Abraham immediately realized that this was only a test from the Almighty. At Mina, pilgrims participate in a ritual called the Rami, which is the throwing of seven stones at three monuments called the Jamarat. Until today, millions of Muslims pass by three monuments and throw pebbles as a ritual, which symbolizes the reenactment of the actions of Prophet Abraham when he was faced with the trial of sacrificing his son. The three monuments or pillars in Mina represent the three places that the devil tempted Prophet Abraham to forgo the sacrifice. The throwing of the pebbles is purely symbolic. To this day, at the end of Hajj, Muslims annually sacrifice sheep, cows, camels, and goats in the millions, commemorating the spirit of Abraham, his intention, his sincerity, and his passion, the meat from the sacrifices given to charity. During Hajj, Muslims also kiss a black stone, symbolizing their appreciation of them being invited to the house of the King of all kings, our Lord, our Creator. Muslims also kiss the black stone in tradition of Prophet Muhammad. If they cannot kiss it, they can touch it or point in its direction. This stone was sent down from heaven for Abraham to be used for the construction of the sacred house. The stone was sent down from heaven for Abraham to be used for the construction of the sacred house. Buildings in ancient times often had cornerstones, and Prophet Abraham wanted a cornerstone for this house. Narration described the stone as being whiter than milk, in origin, darkening slowly from the sins of humans while it morphed into a black stone. The black stone is the starting point for Tawaf, the circling of the Kaaba. Hajj is completed.